of our hearts and minds be acceptable to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, so how many of you have, give me that for just a second. How many of you have heard this verse before? But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. How many of you have heard that? How many of you knew where it was from before this morning? Just a few of you, that's good. So, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Is that something that we would all want to do? Yes. 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 Yes, we would want to do that. That's something that we would think we would like to do, right? How many of us actually do that? Okay. And one person like halfway raising their hand, one, and one person's doing this, right? But this morning in our lesson, we get Joshua has crossed over the river of Jordan. They've, they've made their way into the promised land that God has promised them, right? We saw... The story where they went down to Egypt, Joseph went down and prepared the place for them to come, and they came, and they were a great people, and then all of a sudden Pharaoh switched and went into slavery. Things got really bad, and then God came and took them out of Egypt, took them across the Red Sea, and they wandered around in the wilderness for 40 years because they did what? Did what? They did if they would have had a woman leading them rather than Moses. It wasn't a guy. They would have stopped and asked for directions. No. It, they didn't listen. They listened to the, to the people that went into the promised land and said, oh, those people are way too big. We're never going to be able to defeat them. They didn't trust God. So God said, all right, fine. You can wander around the wilderness until I get rid of this generation, and then we'll take the next generation in. And that's where Joshua comes in. God chose Joshua to lead his people in. And what does Joshua do here in this chapter? He tells them everything that's happened to them up to this point. And he says, the Lord God says to you, all of these things happened. And who did all of these things? In the reading it says, I. I took you out of the land of Egypt. I took you across the river Jordan. I brought you where you need to be. I defeated all these kings. And who is the I that is talking here? God. It's not Joshua. It's God. God said, I've done all of these things for you. And why did God do all of these things for us? What did I do for the kids up here? Because he chose us. God's already chosen us to, do, to be his people. He's already said, I'm going to be with you. My promise is that you are going to be my people. And that I'm going to always be with you. Right? I'll be with you when the kings come against you. I'll be with you when you have to cross the sea. I'll be with you when you need help. Right? So are we willing to choose to serve him? You see, here's the thing. Our reading this morning ends with, and I bet Kim's really happy because she got the full reading, which was like through the next 15 verses. So I cut the reading down to end at the but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Because that's the high point, right? Joshua continues on to say, because the people keep saying, yes, we will serve God, right? Because that's what you all say, right? If I ask you right now, who here wants to serve the Lord? Show of hands. Who wants to serve God? That's most everybody raising their hands. That's good. <laughs> right? We want to serve God. But then Joshua continues, because that's what the people there said. And Joshua said, you know what? You can't do it. You can't do it. Because God is a holy God and he expects us to give up everything. Everything has to be laid at God's feet. How many of you are ready to lay everything at God's feet? How many of you are ready to give up everything you have in your life, every comfort that you ever have, and do exactly what God tells you to do? It's not that easy, is it? You see, we think we can have God on our terms, but we really can't. God chooses us just the way we are, and he wants us to give everything up to him. Does that mean that if we don't give everything up to him, that God's going to turn his back on us? No, he's not. 